Hi, this is Laura from Pink Pig Financials, and today I'm going to explain the tax advantages of investing in a venture capital trust. Venture capital trusts are companies whose shares are listed on a UK recognised stock exchange. They invest in new and young companies and believe that these companies will experience rapid growth and thus high returns. There are a number of tax advantages for those who invest in VCTs. The first is income tax relief. If you invest in a venture capital trust, you can claim up to 30% income tax relief against your income tax liability. For example, if you invest £40,000 into a venture capital trust, you would be eligible for up to £12,000 income tax relief. That's 30% of £40,000. However, this is restricted by your income tax liability. So if your income tax li liability is only £8,000 then and you've made an investment of £40,000 into your venture capital trust, then although you would be eligible for £12,000 income tax relief, because your income tax liability is only £8,000, then you can only claim £8,000 of relief. In order to be able to benefit from this relief, the shares you purchased must be new shares. This means they were either purchased at launch of the VCT or on a subsequent share issue as opposed to shares purchased in the secondary market. In addition, the shares must be held for a minimum of five years, otherwise the relief can be clawed back. Finally, there is a maximum permitted investment of £200,000 per annum or a maximum of £60,000 income tax relief. You can invest more, but the income tax relief would be restricted to £60,000. In addition, any dividend income earned from the venture capital trust, tax, venture capital trust shares is also tax free. And if the shares increase in value and are subsequently sold at a profit, then this gain is not subject to capital gains tax. In order to benefit from these two latter income tax reliefs and capital gains tax relief, you must be over 18 years old. And as with the income tax relief, there is a permitted maximum investment of £200,000 per annum. However, unlike the income tax relief, the dividend income and capital gains tax reliefs are available on old shares or those purchased in the secondary market, as well as newly issued shares. There's one important point to highlight, and that is that you cannot offset the loss made on any venture capital trust shares against capital gains made elsewhere when calculating your capital gains tax liability. These are absolutely fabulous tax advantages, but it's important to remember that they exist in order to encourage investments into companies which are higher risk than those with a profit-making track record. As with all shares, the value of your investment in a venture capital trust may increase or decrease in value, and you, you could lose some or all of your money. So we would always recommend speaking to an independent financial advisor before you make any investments. As always, if you have any questions on venture capital trusts or any other accounting or tax queries, then please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you so much for listening to me today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.